Hi there, Rinaldi here from Aladdin Super Chat Education. If you participated in the game, thank you very much. Uh, I know for sure that this will help you and assist you. Now, part of the survey, 50% said that they're going to go long, 25% uh, they're going to say you're going to go short, and 25% other 25% say that they're not going to do anything and wait for confirmation. All right, so what is the right answer? Well, the right answer is waiting uh, for a confirmation. And what is that? So let me explain. Okay, to continue pretty much from yesterday's answer, so we have a primary uptrend, secondary uptrend, tertiary uptrend, and now we're going to go through and add, connect the highs. Now the highs are very important. And if you can see through here in terms of the price, the closing price is reaching that primary downtrend of the overall trend. And it's also reaching a level of supply. Now, price being a level of supply, if you're buying a level of supply, the probability is going to be very small in terms of winning because in a level of supply, especially through in an uptrend. Now, yes, so definition of is a higher highs and higher lows, but in order for a trend to continue, that trend also needs to be broken. So if we're going to go through that in a small time frame, you're actually going to see it. Alright, now let me go through and, and demonstrate and show you that, see how the highs are very imperative, are very important. The high of the current bar just basically hit it and they want to go and surpass the downtrend. Now, from here, though, it means that there's some form of, form of exhaustion. Now, in terms of exhaustion, the probability of winning to short is highly more probable than actually buying. Okay, now if I go through and, and you see there, so we all can see here too, we're part of the primary, second, secondary uptrend. So you'll see here that it's just hovering within these two trend lines. So the uptrend, downtrend line pretty much is a convergence between the two points. And now here's my question to you. Now that since this is live, where do you think the price is going to go of this chart? So this is the euro against the yen. Remember a chart is a chart, doesn't really matter what type of uh, asset class you're going to trade, whether it will be equities or futures or currencies, a chart is a chart. Right now I can delete actually the tertiary uptrend and we can see here very clearly it is sitting between two trends to the outside and to the downside. Now my question to you is what are you going to do this time? Do you believe that it's going to go up? If you're going to if it's going to go up and you're going to buy, why? If you're going to short, why? If you're going to remain and um, do nothing, why as well? And also to demonstrate part of that uh, is this actually a real trade that was uh, taken a few days ago. So it's the same, same one, same trade, and hence actually shorted it rather than buying. And the reason is because in the level of supply, they didn't want to supersede. The risk is smaller. The probability of winning is higher. The re in, in terms of the risk, since the price didn't want to supersede beyond the downtrend, the risk is really, really small, uh, like a 50 pip risk to, to make 200 pips to the downside. There's a 4 to 1 reward to risk ratio. Okay, now going back, my next question now is part of this exercise is, this is now on a live data, what is your speculation or forecast? You can go, in, go long, go short, and go sideways. So notice we don't have any indicators running, and all I want you to do is to practice based on price action, based on supply and demand. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Take care until next time. Happy trading.